Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions. On the channel, we are getting solutions to all the solving problems. It's nice to have you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to label the distance and bearings of these boundary lines that we have actually generated. You know, we have used this um, azimuth and distance plugin to plot this boundary, right? Good. So now we want to display the distance and bearing so that um, it can look like okay, a similitude of a survey plan. So the first thing we need to do is that we need to exclude this our line so that they will now be as individual lines that that we can get their distances and their bearings so we come to processing toolbox and then we search for explode so we have what explode lines right good so we just open that up it's the bd that we are trying to explode so let's not um, put it inside of any folder so it will be just a scratch layer let's run now we have our exploded bd that's the extent right so what we now want to do is that we want to label we come to the properties we want to label each of these line in a way that the distances and the bearings will show so we have written a few scripts for the bearings in degree minutes and seconds for the bearings in degree minutes and then for the distance in what in two decimal places right good so we are going to start with that of the distance so we copy that and then we come back to qgis now for us to use the two labels on a particular line we are going to use rule based labeling so now we are going to define two rules that will be used to what to label our lines which will be the distance and the bearing so since we have copied the formula for the distance or the expression rather for the distance we can just come here what add a rule and then the description let's call that distance then the expression we can use the expression that we have actually copied so we just paste it there from the preview you can see the distance is rounded up to two decimal places and then we also have the unit meters concatenated to it right good so we click on ok then the placement we want it to be below the line so we select below the line right then the next thing is that we want the line the label to be dependent on the orientation of the line right good so we click on line orientation dependent position and then we click on ok and then we apply now when we have done that you now see that all of the labels are actually below the line and then they are following the orientation of what the line right good now the next part of the rule we want to establish is that of the bearing so we click on add another rule that's add rule and then let's call this bearing then for the bearing we have two formats one that displays degree minutes and seconds and the other that displays just degree and minutes right good so we are going to use the one that displays just degree and minutes for today's demonstration so we copy that and then we come back to our QGIs then under the label we use what the expression and then we paste you can now see that from the preview we have our bearings to the nearest minute right which is very important we click on ok for this we also want it to follow the orientation of the line and then we want it to be on top of it now remember that immediately you click on the orientation of the line the description for the allowed position actually changes however they are still the same so if you say above the line it simply means left of the line and then if you say below the line it simply means right of the line and then on the line is the same right but so since we need it to follow the orientation of the line it's now left of the line because we want it on the top right because the bearing is usually at the top the distances are usually at the down right good so we click on ok and then we apply now you can see that the bearings have been displayed alongside the distances we can now come back to excel in our previous tutorial we saw that the bearing for the first line was 24 degrees 54 minutes then 80.37 
so we have 24 degrees 54 minutes and then 80.37 right similarly we have 115 degrees 1 minute 16.55 so we also have 115 degrees so it simply means that qgis has automatically determined or calculated the bearings and the distances of the lines on this particular plot right good formatted the distance to two decimal places and then formatted the bearing to what to three decimal places so we believe we have shown you how to use qgis using these simple scripts not too simple using these expressions to actually format the bearings and the distances to our preferred um, precision or how we want them to be displayed especially the placement right good so we are going to leave a link to assessing these expressions definitely on the comment section where you can actually um, have access to it and then maybe use it for your practice so we are going to see you on the next tutorial perhaps running through the whole process of getting a survey plan or something else so until then keep staying safe and have a fantastic time Bye.